hell is total, conscious, eternal separation from the blessings of God. People think of it as a lake of fire, and that certainly is a biblical image. Also, the Bible describes hell as lashing or scorpions or darkness where there's great gnashing of teeth. There's not just one biblical image of hell. Hell is a place for the soul of extreme torment by being separated from the blessings of God. Now, the questions we always struggle with, is hell fair? That's a harder question. I think one way theologians have dealt with that is it's fair in this regard. People get what they deserve. They don't want to be with God, and so God at some point says, fine, you'll be without me. Now, pride keeps you not wanting God around, and there's a sense in which hell, if it's not just described by the images, but by theological understanding, total conscious eternal separation from the blessings of God, then there's a sense in which hell is people getting exactly what they want. I didn't want God. At some point, God says, okay, I have shown you my goodness and my grace, and you don't want that. So you get exactly what you want. The Bible warns that that's great pain. That's great hardship to the soul to be without God. But at some point, God says, okay, I'll give you what you want. Those who want me, they get me, that's heaven. Those who don't want me, they don't get me. They get what they want. And that's hell when it's ultimately taken to its foundational meaning.